Hello everyone, Timothy Bennett here, professional wedding and portrait photographer. Today I'm going to talk to you about the new uh, Photoshop beta and more specifically generative fill tool um, and how that can be used uh, by wedding photographers and how I'm, I'm using it now. Um, I'll just show you a couple examples that I've done uh, of some old images and it's, uh, it's pretty cool so stay tuned, it's coming up now. Before we jump into it, um, I'm actually going to jump on the computer and uh, show you guys the samples. I just want to kind of break down um, the three that I'm going to show you guys and how I'm using it. One is just extending out the canvas so you can take a current image. And let's say you cropped it a little bit too tight uh, in camera. You can just extend the canvas out and the AI will just basically regenerate pretty realistically the exact background you have, whether it's, you know, sand, grass, whatever, flowers, it extends it out. Another thing you can do is remove uh, unwanted things. So I've got an image, an engagement shoot image where the couple's kind of standing along, they're in front of a lake, but there's like a, like a, kind of a fencing, but it's more of a, a railing. And just went in there, easily removes it out, which would have took hours uh, in Photoshop to do that. And then lastly, I've taken a couple of my vertical shots um, that I've taken and just extended the canvas out just to the right to create a landscape uh, version of that image, but also to add extra stuff. There's an image I'm going to show you where this couple was walking down, it's a wedding shot, walking down a dirt trail, and I just, you know, it was a vertical shot, and it wasn't taken at the beach. So what I did was I extended the canvas out um, landscape and then just put, you know, put beach or uh, ocean. And it's sure enough, you know, the AI adds the, the ocean and it's very uh, realistic. So I'll let you guys take a look. Also, um, before I forget, this uh, video is sponsored by Audio. Um, I will leave a link in description for you guys to receive 70% off. Um, I believe the pro plan is 199 so that makes it around, I think it's 60 to 70 bucks. So it's a great deal. I recently switched over from... Uh, epidemic sound to audio and I'm very very impressed um, I'm staying with them I do prefer it over uh, epidemic so I will make a separate video about that um, maybe the differences between the two but for now if you guys want to uh, try it out and get a free trial and then if you use that link you'll get 70% off so no further ado let's uh, jump into this go ahead and jump into the beta this is the first image I want to show you guys um, this was a wedding Shot a couple years ago, a couple was just kind of walking down, and this is just an open field. They had an actually a, a house backyard wedding, and this field was kind of across the street, so we went over there, got a couple shots. So what I've done here is extended out the canvas to the right, and this is going to be the final image. Um, just basically generated, you know, ocean. So I'll go ahead and walk you guys through how I did it. So I'm going to go to image, canvas, and... Actually, let's do it this way. A little bit easier. I think I dragged it out right about here. And then what we're gonna do is, it's gonna take your selection tool, make sure you include a little bit of the actual image for the AI to work with, to, to blend them together. So you got your little generative fill bar that comes up down here. I'm gonna click on that and I think I hit ocean. I mean, obviously it's probably gonna generate a different result, hit generate, but we'll just see what it does. And it'll give you a couple different variations of it, so you don't have to go with the first one it creates, but just really cool, you know, if you have some uh, landscape shot or some portrait shots when turn into landscapes and even create a different environment than what was actually there. So yeah, that actually came out really close to the original. But if you look over here in the side panel, I got a couple other options. So this one actually, the water is coming up a little bit closer uh, to the couple. And this one, you know, the waves are kind of a little more choppy though and windy here. I probably wouldn't use that one. This one's a little more serene, a little softer. So that's the first, and look at this, look at the way it blended the sky. The clouds look very similar. I mean, this is just kind of like a hazy overcast day and it kind of kept that. So that's the first use. Um, which is really, really cool. 
This is the uh, original. So you can see here, it's an engagement shoot up in Julian. Um, yeah, I just kind of was toying around with this. This is kind of what I ended up with. Um, so I basically just kind of extended the canvas and that basically did that flawlessly, mountains, water, everything. And then this foreground, I just selected this foreground right here and basically put water. I uh, matched it pretty good, not quite as blue as this one is, but it looks pretty natural. Um, so let me show you guys how I kind of ended up with that one. So off the original image, I think I extended canvas. I think I did it on all sides on this one. So if you extend the canvas on all sides, then what you want to do is come in with your selection tool and you got to select basically everything that's not part of your image and still include a little piece here. So after you make a selection, hold down shift, you can go through and make another selection. It'll add to it. See how I'm including a little piece each time I do it. Include a little piece here. And then finally down here. Okay, so now everything's selected and a little bit of edge on all sides of this. So now you're not going to put a prompt. You're just going to hit generate, generate. It should basically fill, extend this image to the edges pretty flawlessly. Then I'll show you how I made the, the stream in the front. Just give this a couple seconds. So there, pretty good, uh, pretty good rendition. I noticed on this particular one, it kind of darkened the edges here. Didn't do that on my original, so that I don't like. I'd probably select one of the other. Yeah, so this one, so the second one in the bunch, kind of got rid of that. Third one, yeah, this one's probably the best. Um, and it, it gets a little soft. You'll notice here, you zoom in. It does soften up compared to the original, but that area would be um, out of focus anyways if you were on you know any type of a prime lens. So depending on your, your f-stop. So basically to do, so now I've got an extra room down below. Now I'll show you how I made that, the water in the front of them. Um, so just select here. Actually, let's do the lasso. I think I just came like this. Doesn't have to be perfect either or exact, just select through here and then generative fill and now for your keyword I think I just put water I mean you can be very basic or you can get more specific but I'll just hit water generate see how close it comes to my original and you gotta toy around with it for a little bit but you can get some pretty cool uh, results so I really enjoy the tool so far um, just kinda opening up new different avenues you know for uh, my photography. Let's see what it gets. Whoa. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Is that like the side of a pool or something? All right, I don't get that. Let's check the other ones. Okay, so here it looks pretty similar to my original. And actually this time, it matched the blue a lot closer. So that's not bad. And then again, so it'll do weird stuff like this. Like, I don't know what this is, like the side of a pool. But this is kind of what I was going for with the original is to kind of make them look like they're kind of on a on a barge or like a little island area so that's kind of cool so yeah that's the second one uh, let's jump into the the third use so this is the original um, also an engagement shoot nice little warm sunset shot uh, by this lake but you notice this rail back here not a huge deal. I mean, I did deliver this original image to them. They loved it, but this is after removing the fence. So I'm zooming in now. So, I mean, literally took me 30 seconds to do this. So let me show you kind of real quick how I did it. Um, I think I just did the lasso tool coming through here. I basically selected right over the hair, cutting right through it trying to select all of this around and then 
generate, you're not gonna put anything here for the keywords. You're just gonna let it fill this background in, but watch what it does with the hair. That's the amazing part is it's regenerating the actual hair. And I mean, I'm very impressed of how it can do it. <laughs> but let's see what it gets, um, how close it gets to my original. Okay, that not as good. It actually left this in there. Um, Jerry images. Okay, yeah, I think it had a glitch right there. So let's try this again. Let's go right back in. Now it only has to remove this piece. It should be a lot easier for it to do, but we'll see. And this side was pretty simple for it. This would have been easy to do even just in standard Photoshop tools, but with the hair right here would be nearly impossible. Okay, so yeah, look at that. So I mean, literally regenerated all the hair right through there wow okay and then over here pretty simple it shouldn't have much trouble um, with this let's uh, get my generative fill back so yeah, this is just cool stuff you guys can do um, with your images I mean Obviously, this was a good a good image to begin with, but okay. So, I did a pretty good job. Not sure what this is down here. Sometimes you get weird stuff like this, but select it, generate should be a pretty quick fix. So, a really cool tool. I um, I definitely think you guys should all check it out. Um, I know it's kind of controversial, but for stuff like this, it's just an extra tool to have and really fun. So, that's it. All right, guys, that does it for this one. Um, thank you for watching. And I definitely um, would suggest you guys downloading the beta, the new beta version, and giving it a shot. The Generative Fill Tool is, in my opinion, an amazing um, tool to have as a photographer. I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about it and what you've used it for in the comments below. And uh, definitely check out the audio um, trial, ver trial version. That's what I'm using now for all of my soundtracks and special effects. So if you guys do like it, I'll have a link below for 70% off. Um, and thanks again. Um, remember, always pursue your passions. Keep crushing it. See you at the next one.